thing. There's been lots of visitors to Nazareth, lots of, through the years, including us. But Scripture tells us that 2,000 years ago, Nazareth had a very special visitor. His name was Gabriel. He was an angel sent from God on a very important mission. And he visited a young woman. We don't know how old she was exactly. Very, very young. Of not of noble birth. Probably wasn't very wealthy. In fact, we know she was peasant. But Gabriel came to Mary. When he first met her, very close to the spot where you're standing right now, the angel Gabriel met her and said, Hail, favored one. You found favor with God, and the Lord is with you. Say that last part with me. The Lord is with you. Say it one more time. The Lord is with you. That's as true today as it was then. And he told Mary that the Lord was with her, and that something very miraculous and very special was going to happen. She was going to bear a child, God's son. He was going to be the Savior of the world. How wonderful and yet how odd that God would send an angel to this place. You know, Nazareth was, uh, it's not a real big town today. It's grown, of course. Back in the days when Gabriel came to visit Mary, it was just a small place. The largest uh, estimates I've heard would be uh, houses that, and, and corrals that might have covered an area of possibly as large as 60 acres. And, Maybe as many as 500 people, probably smaller than that. Copain. Like a copain. And Mary, again, not of noble birth. We don't know too much about her. We know a little bit about her, but not a lot. But again, what we what we learn from this uh, miracle of history is that you know the Lord looks upon what the heart. People look upon the outward appearance. The Lord looks upon the heart. Josephus mentions over 40 towns in this area of Galilee. Nazareth does not mention in any of his writings. The Talmud mentions about 69 towns in this area. Nazareth has no mention of the Talmud. But God found the person God wanted right here. Not some other place. Right here where we are today, here in the city of Nazareth, because the Lord doesn't look on the outward appearance. God doesn't care if it's the size of Colt Man, Tulsa, or New York City. And God doesn't care who we are on the outside. The Lord looks upon the heart. Say that with me. The Lord looks upon the heart. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, for this holy moment where we can be standing in the very place where the angel Gabriel visited Mary, the mother of our Lord, 2014 years ago. Thank you, O oh God, for your holy presence still with us, still in this place, for those who will receive it and for those who will experience it today. We're so grateful, God, that while we may look on the outward appearance, you look upon the heart. May our hearts be those places, those dwellings where you choose to be and to live. Lord, we open our hearts to you. In Jesus' name, amen.